So have you ever wondered if owning a home is right for you? We've all thought about that. Some of you guys out there have owned several homes, um, but it is an intriguing question. You know, whether you've owned 10 homes or it's your first home, uh, surely, you know, it's on a lot of folks' minds, whether you already have, you know, a house that you like and you're just looking to maybe upgrade. Um, so as we dive into the next few minutes, we're going to embark on a journey of home ownership, balancing the pleasures and perils that accompany this life altering decision. We're going to examine some of the various facets ranging from building equity over time to potential financial risks involved. So owning a home isn't just about the financial aspect, right guys? Owning a home might mean sacrificing some of life's luxuries, such as um, frequent travel, dining out, or even owning a luxury vehicle. But on the flip side, it also opens up the door to the joy of things like hosting parties, um, fostering dogs, fostering children, cultivating, growing your own food. As you consider home ownership, think about your deepest motivations. You know, I found in life that there are pluses and minuses to all situations. So several years ago, oh gosh, it was more than several years ago. It was a long time ago. I purchased a beautiful home built in the 1920s and I fixed it up, furnished it. So it was just lovely. I actually turned it into a bed and breakfast and the people that came to stay there were, you know, captivated by how it looked. It was in Colorado, you know, it was Western and fancy and it was kind of looked like a Western brothel, I guess. Um, it was just a, a pretty place. It turned out really nice. And uh, at the same time, this house came with a lot of sacrifices. It was in a ro remote area. You know, there was no good shops or restaurants around like I was used to in the ski area that I had moved from. Um, in fact, now was, I was almost two hours from skiing and good mountain biking and shops and five-star restaurants that I had kind of grown to get used to. In fact, I was also 45 minute drive from my workplace, which um, really made for a long day. There was a lot of snowstorms. In fact, guys, the drive that I had between the bed and breakfast and my actual job job, if you can imagine, I was holding down a job in an outlet store at the same time was the it same was drive was that Chevy sick. Chase is doing in family vacation when he goes to buy his Christmas tree. It's that same road that they show in the movie pretty cool so anyway i wasn't close to any of those activities and said um i wasn't skiing i was spraying siding i was shoveling scrubbing wood floors and baseboards on my hands and knees and um you know now that came with having a bed and breakfast but if you own a home you have to you know you've got some upkeep um, bushes to trim and lawns to mow and all this kind of stuff there's always a trade-off so if you're looking forward to you know posting the lovely pictures of your new home on social media. I will tell you right now, my husband and I are in the process of purchasing a home. And, you know, I think about that. I think, oh, when we finally find something, we'll be able to share the pictures with friends and family. And there's an exciting feeling that comes with that. But I will tell you from having owned homes in the past, it's fleeting. Um, it is. And some of the sacrifices of, you know, eating out less, traveling less, having less money to spend on, you know, things, charities and gifts and other items that bring you joy. Um, those, you got to take that um, into consideration. So, and maybe your budget's not tight. We'll get into that as well, but you know, you got to balance it all out. It brings you closer to your community. Home ownership does um, be at your church or your workplace. And they offer you the opportunity to live in a safer neighborhood. That's huge um, with access to superior schools for your children. And we'll also delve into some exciting personal benefits that home ownership can bring. A home can provide needed space for hobbies like painting, crafts, owning horses, even woodworking, all kinds of things. So these are the joys uh, that one may not fully realize when in a rented space, right? Um, so we'll touch on the possibility of generating rental income and attractive prospect for you know potential homeowners. But remember, this decision is unique as you are. It require it you know it varies greatly from person to person it's influenced by a multitude of factors now you're if you're like me your head's probably spinning right now with all the the different uh parts of this decision so this exploration is intended to give you a holistic perspective assisting you in making an informed choice and just gives you some food for thought right another financial benefit we'll discuss is the advantage of having um space that invites more home cooking potentially saving you money on a long run right something to think about so let's delve into the reasons why you might want to buy a house and why you might not considering both the sacrifices and the newfound opportunities one of the most compelling reasons to own a home is the opportunity to build equity over time so let's break this down what exactly is equity it's the difference between what your home is worth and what you owe on your mortgage 
Imagine your home is a giant piggy bank. Every time you make a mortgage payment, you're dropping a coin into that piggy bank. You're essentially paying yourself by increasing your ownership stake in your property. As years pass, these coins add up. This is the essence of building equity over time. You're not just paying off a loan, you're creating a long-term investment. It's like having a savings account that grows with each passing month because that house typically will increase in value over time. Now we're gonna talk about the possibility of that not happening, but the beauty of this is that it's not just about the numbers on a page, it's about the sense of accomplishment and financial security that comes with owning a piece of something tangible. However, building equity is not without, um, you know, the downside. It can be, it can be a pro, but the cost of home maintenance is also something to consider. Many homeowners are caught off guard by the ongoing expenses of home upkeep. These can include regular costs like lawn care, pest control, and cleaning. It's unexpected repairs that can really pack a punch to your wallet. Think broken water heaters, leaky roofs, faulty electrical system. And let's not forget about the larger infrequent expenses. There can be. Um, maybe an HOA, which is a home ownership dues that you have to pay. And that can include a clubhouse and a pool and some other goodies. And maybe it doesn't, it's just a home. It's just an expense that comes along um, as part of the expense, you know, part of the things you need to take into consideration. So maybe your home needs a new roof or perhaps your HVAC system is on its last ledge. HVAC meaning heating and um, AC, you know, which is like can be one of the biggest costs that in the roof, of course. These costly projects are not only expensive, but they're also inevitable, right? Over time, these costs can add up sometimes totaling several thousands of dollars a year um, it's essential to factor these potential expenses in when making decisions to buy and we're gonna have um, a whole scrunch that word together but we're gonna have a whole video on how to figure out all those costs that go into your uh, monthly mortgage payment because it's not just the payment to the bank it's other stuff and we're gonna talk about all that all that stuff and um so after all, home is not just an investment, it's a responsibility. But don't let that discourage you guys. There's more to the story of home ownership. So another advantage of owning a home is the stability and control it offers. There's no denying that having a place to call your own, where you can put down roots, provides a comforting sense of stability. No more worrying about the landlord or lease renewals. No more unexpected rent hikes. You're the boss of your own living space. But the benefits extend beyond mere stability. Owning a home gives you the freedom to make changes to the property. Want to paint a room bright teal? Go for it. Paint the whole house bright red? Go for it. Well, depending on what the HOA has to say about that. But um, dreaming of a kitchen garden? Plant away. The ability to shape and personalize your living environment is a powerful aspect of home ownership, guys. So moreover, the sense of ownership and autonomy that comes with having your own home, it's something you, you know, simply can't be replaced in a rental situation. It's a tangible manifestation of your hard work and financial acumen. On the flip side, owning a home can also uh, tie you down, you know? Yep, owning a home can provide stability, but can also limit your flexibility. So think about it. When you own a home, you're essentially anchored to that place. If you find a better job, maybe a job opportunity that comes knocking on your door from the other side of the country or even overseas, it becomes a little more complicated. You can't just pack your bags and leave. You have a property to consider. So selling a home isn't as simple as selling a car or a piece of furniture. It's a process that involves appraisals, inspections, negotiations, and sometimes renovations. It's time consuming and it can be costly. And during this time, you may be missing out on that golden opportunity. A good thing owning a home comes with financial risks. So let's delve into this. First up on the list of risks is a decrease in property value that can happen. You might buy a house thinking it's a solid investment, but the real estate market can be unpredictable. Sometimes property values plummet. This could mean you're left with a home that's worth less than you paid for it. Uh, then there's the threat of market crashes. We're all aware of the devastating impact that happened uh, in 2008. The financial crisis uh, had a you know, devastating impact on homeowners. The market crash can wipe out your home's value in the blink of an eye. I've had it happen to me. I owned a home um, in 2008 in Tucson, Arizona, which is in the heart of the crash. And it wasn't fun, but you guys, I recovered from that. So something to consider. And finally, the dreaded F word, which is foreclosure. If for some reason you can't keep up with your mortgage payments, the bank has the right to take your home. This can have severe implications for your financial stability and your future. Um, a significant plus of owning a home is the potential for rental income. Homeownership opens up a world of opportunities for you to generate extra revenue. I mean, if you've got some land, you can board horses, you can have maybe uh, some RV spots or something, and rent those out. If you've got a casita, you can rent that out, which a casita, I'm sorry, I'm from the Southwest. So um, a casita is like a little home in the back. You can choose to rent out a room, a basement, or even the entire 
acquire property, depending on your personal circumstances and needs. In recent years, there's been a huge popularity in short-term rentals. We've seen that. Platforms like Airbnb have revolutionized the rental market, right? It makes it easier for homeowners to connect with potential renters from all over the world. This rental income can help offset mortgage payments, property taxes, and maintenance costs. But remember, it's not just about listing the room online and watching the money roll it. Being a landlord requires time, effort, and patience. You'll have to deal with property upkeep, tenant issues, and maybe sometimes even legal complexities, right? So all the potential for rental income is a big pro. It's important to remember that being a landlord is not for everyone. Okay, let's have a quick summary of the downside and upsides of home ownership. On the downside, you're tied down to one location with limited flexibility. There could be an unpredictable real estate market where you are, threat of market crashes, and even foreclosure, right? Um, it may mean sacrificing some of life's luxuries, you know, spend um, less money to spend on charities or gifts. The ongoing costs, you know, home maintenance, example, pool and lawn, small repairs such as appliances and some larger infrequent expenses such as, you know, maybe an entire roof replacement. Um, but the upsides of home ownership include so many things um, such as the ability to host parties with friends closer to your community or workplace, safer neighborhoods, superior schools for your children, a space for hobbies such as painting, crafts, even woodworking. You can put down a sense of roots as a comforting comforting sense of stability, no more worrying about landlords or lease renewals, and no more unexpected rent hikes, that's for sure. You have the freedom to make changes to the property. You can maybe grow your own food in a home garden. You may have a bigger kitchen to prepare more meals at home. You can own livestock. You can own horses. Um, you can uh, generate your own extra revenue through rental income, horse boarding, dog boarding. You can make and sell your own products. Um, you have a tangible manifestation of your own, you know, your own hard work and financial acumen, right? Opportunity to build equity over time. Um, you could do some fun things like foster children. You can foster and rescue animals. You can provide a place for a friend or family member who needs temporary housing. Don't rush into buying a house because it's what you think you're supposed to do. Don't do it because it's going to impress your friends or you're going to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak. Take the time to weigh the pros and cons. Do your research and make the choice that's best for you guys. Um, you don't know me yet, um, but my name's Cindy Fessler and Chris Parrish who uh, is the loan officer that I work with. We want to help you to make the dis best decision. We're gonna um, help you to figure out what it is exactly that you can afford so you're not stressed, so that you don't have to make a tremendous amount of sacrifices uh, to have your dream of home ownership become a reality. So there's information in the description box below. And if you're watching this video from your TV and you can't see that description box, you can go ahead and scan this little QR code. Just take your phone and take a picture of that QR code that you see right there. That will take you to Chris's calendar where you can schedule a time with him. And you'll also see his phone number. You can text him, you can call him, reach out to him, talk to him, see what you can afford. Let um, us, let him especially help you with making this happen, guys. That's what we're here for. We don't want to talk you into it. We've been doing this a long time. Um, he and I have both been in the business over 20 years. We've got 40 years of combined experience in all the different aspects of this industry. And so we can help you to make that happen. We can recommend real estate agents to you. And no matter where you are in the country, oh my goodness, you could, um, you may con consider personal situation, financial status, and future plans before stepping into the world of home ownership. So evaluate your readiness, handle these responsibilities and risks that come with owning a property, reflect on your long-term goals and how owning a home fits into those plans. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned. There's going to be so much more information down the line.